What's up everybody, Deutschbag back with another Rust Legacy server tutorial. Uh, in the last video I showed you how you can set up a Rust Legacy server in under 5 minutes and today I'm going to show you how you can actually administer the server. Uh, so if you didn't see the last video you can uh, check it out in the description below or at the end of this video you'll also see another link to get back to that. Uh, so first thing we want to do is we are going to uh, open up the directory where we have our uh, Rust server files which is C drive Rust server and uh, by double clicking the Rust underscore server executable uh, it'll bring up our command prompt and um, again I showed you this in the last video so I'm not gonna double click it but uh, we're gonna actually create a batch file here to run our our new server and I'm just gonna call the the new batch file start underscore server and we'll remove that dot txt extension and call it dot bat and I'll say yes edit and uh, there's only two lines that we're going to use in this and we're going to turn echo off um, and that's so we don't see the uh, um, see the command as it's running and uh, then we're going to do start rust underscore server dot exe which is our uh, executable file right here and then we need to uh, tell it that we're going to run this in batch mode and that's so it'll take the uh, the additional configurations that we're going to be putting in here. We're going to put it on port 28015, which is the default port. And then the last thing we're going to do in this file is do uh, dash cfg and then server.cfg. And uh, what that's going to do is uh, we, there are many more commands you can put in here. And, and I'll, I guess the reason why we're doing just a basic one right here is because instead of specifying certain uh, items in the batch file when we start it up we're actually going to put it in the uh, server config file which we are going to create in just a second here uh, so this, this is just telling uh, the server or the executable to look at this uh, the server.cfg for those configurations uh, so let's make a new file another text document and uh, we'll call it server.cfg just like we said we were going to in the batch file hit yes again and now we're going to you can edit with uh, notepad plus plus but uh, just because most people are going to, well all people will with a windows machine will have notepad um, unless they removed it for some reason but uh, so we're just gonna do this all in uh, notepad for uh, usability I guess uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to specify server host name and this is going to be whatever you want your server name to be so it can be super awesome mega baller rust server but for um, a nice little title we're just going to call it local rust server uh, next thing you want to do is specify the uh, archon password and uh, that can be that's going to be your uh, admin password basically so whatever you want that to be I'm just going to specify password because it's not like I'm you know gonna set up a live server or anything like that uh, sensor nudity sensor dot nudity I should say this is you know something you can put on there if you don't want to see wieners flying all around so um, we'll just put false we like seeing wieners flying around I guess uh, server.pvp uh, you can set to true or false we'll just set to false since there's not going to be anybody else on the server anyway it doesn't really matter uh, crafting.instant uh, again if you want instant crafting no, you don't want people to wait on your server you can set it to true I'm going to set it to false because that ruins the fun server uh, silent timeout I believe timeout if I could spell I believe this is going to um, uh, uh, kick people who are idle for probably 30 minutes I would say I would have to look back at that one a little bit more but anyway uh, we'll move on uh, server max players this is pretty uh, straightforward how many players do you want to uh, do you want on your server? I think defaults like 250. Um, and if you're just running on a local machine on your network, chances are you're not going to have 250 people connecting to it. Uh, I'm just going to set mine to 10. Uh, error, airdrop.min underscore players. 
this is going to be the number, the minimum number of players on your server that's required uh, for an airdrop to uh, take place. And we're just going to put one because it's just going to be me. And then we're going to do um, truth.enforce. And this is just to make sure that, um, I, I believe it makes sure that the Steam clients are legitimate. And uh, if anybody's hacking and there's some like crazy parameters that uh, it'll kick people off. And um, I don't know if it bans them, but I, I know it'll kick them off. Um, and then we can do uh, last one here. We're just going to do crafting.instant. And this one's going to be a little bit different because we're going to specify for admins. And we want it to be true. All right. So then, uh, you know, file save. And we're good. And now we're not going to use this to start the server anymore. We're going to use our uh, lovely batch file here. And as you can see, it's starting up our server. And looks like everything is ready to go. So now we should be able to go ahead and start our game. And I have an icon right on the desktop. I didn't even have to do that. Why did I do that? Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna play. And it'll load or go not responding. That's cool too. Whatever you want to do, Rust. Whatever you want to do. Okay, there we go. So uh, don't need to, actually we can do play a game. So I've launched this server already, uh, which means if I go to my history here, and of course now it just made a liar of me. Uh, it should show up in here though, if you've run the server a couple times. Uh, since it's not showing up there, uh, what we can do is uh, press F1 to bring up the Rust console, do net.connect, and then the IP address of the, um, the server, and then the uh, port number, which is 28015. And remember, we also specified that in the um, in our batch file too. Oh, it says it was executed, but it didn't do anything. So that's cool. So I'm gonna figure out why that didn't work. And then I will come back to this video. Alrighty, so I was able to figure out what happened, and all it was is I just forgot to put uh, the little uh, uh, period right there in between the 0 and the 9. So I got uh, 10.0.0.9, and then the port number 2815, and now it will connect because I actually put the correct information in there. And uh, you'll be able to see in just a second. You can see that I already connected. Now we're just waiting for it to uh, get to the server. And here I am in the middle of nowhere. Hooray. Okay, so now we gotta do some things. We gotta set our um, archon password. So archon.password is going to be password. And now our Archon password is password. So uh, to test that, I think you could do, uh, let's see, Archon.log, oh, log in uh, password. There we go. So uh, Archon.password and then entering your password, which just happens to be password, will get you into the server. Uh, and it'll show you, or sorry, that will, Archon.password and then the password will set the password. Archon.login and then the password, which is password, is uh, going to log you in. So that is awesome. We now have administrator access to our server. Um, there are a bunch of console commands uh, that, that you can run, and I will include a link to those in the description. Um, again, uh, with the batch file and your config file, you can add some of those to uh, some of those commands to those files. But uh, something else that we're going to do is uh, let me get rid of, you can see I was playing around with this the other day. And I'll show you what I was playing around with. I just want to drop all this nonsense because I need to in order to show you guys this. Okay, that's enough. So we are going to use something called Rusty. 
and I need to extract this. So extract all, we'll do it right to the desktop because it doesn't matter. So then uh, th this file will open up and you want to run Rusty. Rusty is an awesome, awesome admin tool, uh, which again, links in the description, um, or if you just uh, Google Rusty legacy, it should be like the first search result. Uh, you can choose your theme. I'm just going to go with dark. And first thing we have to do is set up our server default. You can call it whatever you want, but enter the uh, IP address of your server. 28015. Uh, query port by default is going to be 28016. Archon password, that's the one that we uh, just set up. So I'm just going to type in password because that's what it is. And save the password. And then overall, I want to save the whole configuration. That way, I don't have to type this in manually every time. So save. Are you sure you want to save? Let's say yes. And uh, this is going to be our default connection now. So anytime we click on default here, it's going to show up here. Uh, so let's connect to our server. It shows that uh, we connected here. And it shows that there's one player of 10. And here you can actually see where the uh, connection was made. So now there are a lot of options in here. And I'm just going to touch on them a little bit. What you can do with Rusty, you can set the time. You can call an airdrop. Let's see if we can find it. I hear it. I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, there it is, way off in the distance. You just barely see it through the trees. So uh, yeah, you can call airdrops. And let's see what else there is. Uh, you can complete crafting. So if anybody's crafting anything, it'll automatically just be like, hey, I'm done, which is nice. Uh, gear, this is pretty cool. You can do uh, just random, like say we want to give blueprints to everybody. So give all and be like, ah, oh, you gave one five, five, six uh, ammo blueprint. So if I go in here now and check my inventory, oh, come on check my inventory. I said I want to check it. There it is. Uh, you can see I have the blueprint in my inventory. The other cool thing is you can actually uh, create sets. So we'll just create a set. Uh, let's say we want to give people uh, leather boots. We'll add it. And then we also want to give them well, a helmet and pants and a uh, vest. So we'll add all those four items and we'll just call this uh, leather. You can save it. You've got this cool little uh, grouping here. So, and you can have tons of these. I, I was setting them up the other night so you could do uh, the rad sets, uh, just random pistols and ammo, uh, med kits, all, all sorts of different stuff. Basically any of the items in the game, you can just set up a group and hand it off to people. Uh, there's also a teleport option. So uh, you can set, uh, you can create new and do just a custom location, or you can just use the built-in locations of all the, uh, the main points of interest in the game. Uh, here you can see all the, or on the players tab, you can see all the players that are on. Currently it's just me. I can kick myself, I can ban myself. Uh, I can give myself a random item, or with that set we just created, I can give myself the, oh sorry, I didn't select my user, select a user, and then give them a set, and you'll see that all the leather showed up in my inventory. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can teleport someone, so I'm going to go to small rad town, teleport, and if I look around, I should be somewhere near... should be. To be fair, I don't know what I'm looking for right now because I don't know exactly which is which. So let's try Big Rad Town. I don't think it's moving. Any oh, you know what? There we go. That's why. Click the wrong teleport button. No big deal. Oh, that's a big deal. Oh no. This is not good. Oh no! Ah! 
Okay, well, it's a good thing I had some random guns on me. Let that be a lesson. Never leave home without your guns. And, uh, also I need to get away from here because otherwise I'm going to die of radiation poison while I'm talking and that sound is just annoying anyway. So let's get away from there. And, okay, there we go. I think we're good now. So, going back to Rusty, uh, edit items will just bring us back to that screen where we are creating different sets, and same thing with the uh, edit teleports. Um, Archon is just another uh, console, so instead of looking at this little guy, um, you can look at everything here, and it's going to tell you what's going on. Uh, so from the point we connected to the server, uh, we called in an airdrop, gave myself some ammo. This is really good. Um, to uh, you, you can also see if anybody's hacking by just random um, events occurring, and you didn't, you know, you had no part in that. That's a good way to uh, tell. I think it also does chat logs. You can uh, say things in the server, like I'll just say test, and you can see here it says server console test. So uh, otherwise, you can actually do it as a pop up, and we'll do another test and send. And here it goes, test. So uh, this is a really cool tool. It allows you to do pretty much everything you need to do. Um, like I said, kick, ban, give people items, uh, teleport them places. It's just a really, really cool tool. And, uh, you know, super awesome, super easy way to uh, manage your Rust server. So I think that's pretty much all I have to show people. Uh, remember, if you have any uh, questions or comments, definitely uh, leave them, and I will try and answer them as best as I can. Otherwise, uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope this uh, helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.